Let me get a pry bar. I'm not gonna get a short one, and I'm not farting. That's my shoe making that sound. Oh, fuck. This thing looks awesome. It does. I wonder if you're gonna get pull for, I guess, probably where you are, and whether or not you can drive this down the street. Like, Obviously, what, you can yeah, have the bike. It's got the VSKFs. Those are annoying. But What yeah. do you do with this? Do you have to remove like the top police light? No. Like, can you even have something that looks like a police? Because this looks that might really be like a police. state by state kind of thing. There's no blue yeah. on it, but there is forward facing red, and that's a problem. Yeah. Or, but maybe because it's a classic, you can get around that kind of stuff in certain places. I don't know. Yeah. But really, this is this is for you're really into um, the Japanese car scene in America. If you're driving this fucking thing. You really into the superior culture? As on air? Yeah. Look at that. It has to be. Damn. Yeah. Air, yeah, aired out, aired yeah. up. Yeah. Knowing nothing about anything, I'm going to say this is what all their police cars look like. <laughs> Japan <laughs> yeah, is this much cooler in my mind now. No, they come on the weds. and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and bagged. And with Boso tips. Yes. Yeah. Sick. No, the it's, Boso tips. That's pretty cool. What did it sell for? Seventeen thousand dollars. I don't know oh, if it's seventeen grand of cool, but no. It's. I mean, it's such a niche thing. Like you can't daily this. I cannot imagine wanting to have this as like your second car. That's like your fun car. It's <laughs> a, a police car sedan. No, Wait, I hate. We haven't had uh, the WRX hate... on on car on our uh, prices wrong yet because we should. No, we don't. You could put it on there. The thing about that is, it's just like, yeah, this is gonna sit in a collection. Like, you're not gonna, yeah, you're not gonna drive this. No. But yeah, you're right. This is 100% intended to just sit in a garage somewhere with 50 other cars. Very weird. Looks sick though. 121,000 mile, 2001 oh, Honda Prelude. Prelude. Yeah. Nice. Six. I, I, see, nice fair. I feel like Preludes are a little slept on, right? Like JDM ones are super slept on, but like. I don't know. This is the only gen of them I really like. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd agree with that. The one before this, with the the big goofy like Accord tail lights, and like the angry face. That one's not very much. That's the one I just don't do it. Aren't the JDM front ends different than these ones? Um, I can't remember. I don't I think have so. No idea to be honest with you. I think they all just look like this. I like them a lot, but they are. A bitch to find. 9800 bucks for this one seems like a pretty good deal. It's not a Type SH or no, but SH it's, Type or whatever the hell it is. It's but clean. It looks I guess clean. if I liked them a lot, I would know a little bit more about them. But I, I, yeah. do, I do think these are cool. Yeah, um, knowing what I know about cars, this one looks clean. It looks straight. It looks mm, taken care of. Yeah. It looks good. I don't like this more than a Celica GTS, though. No, I don't either. If you're doing nope. front wheel drive to front wheel drive, I would I would take yeah. a 7G Celica GTS all oh, day. Yeah. yeah. But 9800 bucks for this, not bad. It is a base model, but I'm like 99% certain that the only real difference between this and an SH is the sh the struts and maybe the springs. Didn't so, the SH have four wheel steering? Not in this generation. Okay. Yeah, no, they uh, they had four wheel steering probably like two generations before this. Is four wheel steering just a meme? Like, yeah. And on this car, it was pretty much just for like tight, like maneuvering and parking lots and stuff. I don't think it was really for performance on the Prelude ever. It was like hydraulic too. I know of no like road racing that uses four wheels steering. Cars. Lots of Nissans in the 90s had it. Yeah. Um, I know the G37 actually had it on like the Grand Touring version. So I don't know how much of a meme it is. I mean, they keep making it. I feel like it's just like a marketing thing. I mean, I've seen it on like and driven it on full size trucks, and that's a godsend. If it you would, want to drive yeah, it. Mm. on on like four by four and stuff, I can. That makes a ton of sense. I'd say. I'm pretty sure every generation of Skyline up until the GTR has it also. And by the GTR, I'm talking about the R35. Like the R32 through 34 all had four wheel steering as either an option or standard. I'm not sure. This is all kind of Netgear wheelhouse stuff. Like one of the yeah. things you see in like sports cars like that is they tend to be, you know, race bred, particularly for like the big brands, you know, like Nissan or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like the race versions of them never, ever, ever use four wheel steering. 
you something mean like American. actual race cars like yeah what? yeah yeah like you have those the race cars that sell the consumer cars and then they put shit like that in the consumer car that is never actually raced with marketing I mean, this has the acoustic feedback system. Is that just marketing jargon? I don't think so. Acoustic feedback? As in, the speakers put out sound? Yeah. That's wild. Mine just squirt water all over the car. That's what they're <laughs> supposed to do. <laughs> Thanks, Volkswagen. Ugh. Nasty. I love my VW. What VW do you have? Uh, you get... Jetta GLI. You got any pics, dog? No, nah, don't show us pics. Can we Google some pics? You can Google some pics. It's like that? <laughs> Yeah, but not terrible like that. That's not even hella flush, yeah, man. There's not hella flush. Hella flush. Wow. No, get out of here. Fuck. This is what I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Why are they all <laughs> terrible? Jesus. Now this is what you drive. This is hella flush. Okay. This that's is why. your life. This is what you why drive. He says, why are they all terrible? <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, you bought this a VW. Guy. You signed up for this life, man. Okay, that's cool. Is that's that cool. Corrado or Sirocco? Sure. Sriracha. Corrado. How about a Model Three? How about no? Performance highly modified. What's with the what's a Tesla Corsa? I'm sure that we are looking at a LARPer. What uh, what's Doug's take on this? That's a good question. Oh, uh, yes. somebody in the Discord said, or maybe it was on Reddit, they said that he doesn't actually write the takes. He said on Smoking Tire podcast that he has uh, his staff do it now. Don't tell me that. So don't break my immersion, bro. Bro. Yeah, I know. Wait, it really does even, break the immersion. It's not even Doug's take, then. I don't... Yeah, this guy's picture right there. It's bullshit. You're telling me he doesn't sit there 30 hours a day writing these things. I absolutely adore the Model 3, and this particular example really has a lot going for it, as it's a one-owner car that's been California kept since new, and it touts a host of cool modifications, including lowering springs and larger wheels, carbon fiber exterior bits, a multifunction instrument panel display, underglow lighting, and much more. Its performance designation means it's means it boasts considerable performance and speed over the base Model 3, and kudos <laughs> to the seller for some great photos. It also touts a clean, accident-free Carfax report, which further enhances the appeal. Imagine your job is to be Doug in, in this website. Imagine your job is to defame and just shame Doug by making him say that he loves garbage all day. All the garbage that gets posted. But he you has know to what put Doug his loves name more. behind everything. You know what Doug loves more than defaming his name? Money. Money. Got him. Check and <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> Got him. F this person. Change the channel. Alright. <laughs> oh wait, hold up. He's actually tracking oh, it. It's okay. photoshopped. Just close it. Nope. Right, you're right. Sli slightly oh, no. look. In a Miata. Completely stock. It's got the hard top, so that's something. 82? That sounds like yeah, decent. Sounds that sounds yeah. Isn't that that's 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 200 fun. bucks. And like, it's it's only had 46,000 Let's see what's miles. wrong with it. Scroll through the pics. It take off 1,500 for the, uh, the top. Oh, okay. There we go. Let me go straight to the known flaws. <laughs> Rock chip scratches, scratches, paint chip, paint fade, scratches, scratches, mm. scratches, mm. AC doesn't work. Some some rust. Where's that some rust? Let's see that underside. That's not bad. That's really not uh, bad. That's fine. No. Um, that's I see more rust underneath my car. <laughs> that's well, bad. this is probably the cheapest this thing will ever get. Yeah, really. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good deal, honestly. Um, what's that garbage there? Hell yeah. Sportive? Yeah, I don't know what that garbage is. Modifications. Meister, Meister. R Sportives Coilovers. I've never heard Meister's of that one. Cannot comment. Premium Meisters brand. Are wheels. Meisters are wheels. They're not suspension parts. Meisters are a type of work wheel. Yeah. Yeah. The work Meisters. Yeah. It's got the baby motor, but I mean, who cares, really? Yeah. But the hard top. Yeah. No, with, with the hard top, this is a good yeah. grab. Yeah. Nothing bad to say about this, really. Looks nice. Looks way better than Zach's, for sure. Here's another one. 6200 bucks. Is the market Mazda's finally down? coming down? I was, I was gonna say, is the market coming down I'm on Mazda's? Triple the mile, yeah. practically, the last one. Did we not get the memo? There's a $2,000 gap between these two cars, and this one has three times as many miles. Yeah. Picture time. Boy. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. Jesus. It's Follow the driver that. car, bro. It was driven. Yeah, yeah okay. Driven yeah. into what? A pile of rocks? Driven through a quarry, yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. I mean, back doesn't even look great either. Other than that, I mean, whatever. Clean it up, it'd be, it'd be fine. It, I mean, there's something going on on the hood. Oh yeah, it's like Rhino Line or something. Right. What the fuck? Oh, it's like a vinyl. Sticker. Oh, it is. It's got like yeah. skateboard grip tape on it. God, look at how rock chipped that thing is. Yeah, it's did, pretty banged up. Did he live on a farm? Where you, I was gonna say, where you been driving this down a dirt road every day, or? Let's see those modifications, cause I could, I could overlook this personally. Top looks kind of shitty. The interior is the the black on tan looks cool. So IMO. yeah, it does. For an old man. <laughs> I'm an old man now. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> we were talking earlier about you know black cars being cool, and this is this is why you don't want. A black car because the second shit gets smudged or chipped. Yeah, oh or, man. Yeah. Yeah, it shows up bad. Yeah, on a I, silver car, it, you'd you'd notice weird. it, but it wouldn't be as awful. But also look at this rust. This is where they all rust, right in front of the rear wheel well. It's just starting to show, but it's worse underneath. Hey, how long do you think it would last? I mean In our in our climate. If you parked it inside and didn't drive it in the rain and stuff, I mean it'd probably be fine, but yeah, you know. yeah. With the foreseeable time you'll own it. Nah, this thing's oh, that sucks. Ooh, so it needs a new top, and that's again like 400 bucks. It's not a big deal. It looks a little rough. Let's see the mod list on it and then move on because it doesn't look remarkable. It doesn't have the hard top. Conigs, some sort of suspension kit from Flying Miata, a racing beat intake, a wood steering wheel, um, and nothing else that matters. So it's a turd. Yeah. This is, I think this is priced about right for what it is. How does it get this much? crap chips and stuff just yeah daily driving it down the highway yeah, just daily whatever my car for... daily driving it in shitty japanese paint yeah mm. it's I, 25 again, years daily. old too right yeah well like i'll take a good picture of the front bumper of my car tomorrow like like my forerunners on the highway it's not it, it it's done it's it's done a number didn't you replace my your front bumper though on the forerunner yeah i guess you're right yeah I mean, but like the hood and sides aren't nearly this bad. Yeah. Well, it sets up a uh, lot higher too. Yeah. 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 Good point. Every time, every time I take out the FRS for a spin, I swear I come back with new chips on the front. For sure, you do. Every time. <laughs> you should get a bra for it. You should get a big leather bra for it. Ugh. I'd rather or go do pay it. somebody to do like a paint protection film on it. Like a. Does those like work? Yeah, yeah, like a eight, you can get like the thicker, like six or eight mil ones that are it, quote unquote it, self healing. Is it visible? Uh, not if they do it right. Like it depends on. Oh, you can kind what of you have edges. it put on. But because the car doesn't really have like a nice clean line on the front where you can do it. Yeah, you so I mean? you probably see the line, but like it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah. Cressida. How much is that? Cressida. Eighty six Cressida wagon. Hell yeah. One owner. Just kidding. That doesn't say that at all. Um, <laughs> 197,000 miles shown, but the true mileage is unknown. Doug's, Doug's take. take I, I love wagons. <laughs> he didn't write that. That's so he embarrassing. Didn't write that. <laughs> Somebody but he does love it. wagons. He does. Somebody typed that up watching Doug videos. I could do this job. Is that, I was gonna say, is that what you have to do to do the job? Is like watch all of Doug's videos. They should continuously. just use a machine learning algorithm and just make it watch all of his videos and then crap <laughs> yeah. out these takes. Three thousand dollars this sold for. What is wrong? Uh, an EML exceeds mechanical limits title was issued in August 1999. Though the car is equipped with a six-digit odometer and the current title is clean and marked as exempt from reporting. So exceeds physical limits. So some sort of odometer thing. Uh, it's been repainted, there's some misalignments and paint issues, blah blah blah. Nothing really important here. Um, the automatic seat belts are stuck in the driving position. Oh no. It's like a, mm. like a fuse is blown or something. I bet you those are a bitch to fix if it's a mechanical problem with those. Yeah. Take a look at Not that thing. you can even get the parts. Looks cool though. Yeah, it looks sick. Three grand? I'd rip a fart. This is why even though Doug and Bids is free, you still shouldn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at those dual rear windshield wipers. That's badass. That's pretty cool. Are those vents on the rear windows are like just I, some kind of paint? I think it's just thing. styling. Decals. The stripes, yeah, the, the, like the, vertical the, stripes. The yeah. back working, motherfucker. Oh, it's flake gear. Oh, what's up, flake gear? It's about to get it's racist going. in here. Smash like, or your mother will die in her sleep tonight. Collect her car feed, 
now with over 450 subscribers.